Welcome back to All the Mods 9, episode 19. Uh, I don't actually have a plan for today, but we have a lot that we could potentially do. So let's figure something out, shall we? <laughs> maybe what maybe what we want to do actually is maybe get into the mechanism generator or uh, reactor. That could be something that could be pretty damn cool to start getting into. And if we're going to do that, then I'm going to start setting up auto crafting for mechanism stuff because I do not like to deal with manual crafting in that regard. Let's go check on our iron to see if we're still pumping out that stuff. I really hope so. We still pumping out iron? Yeah. Hell yeah. Get out, put iron. That's good. So I don't leave the world running after I stop recording. So the supply build up here is this is completely done from when I'm playing. So none of this is being built up passively. This is all while we're playing, which could be a bit of a detriment uh, later on once we need more materials for the ATM star. But that just means that we have to come up with better, more efficient ways, or we just have to go absolutely insane with the amount of things that we have running at once. But that is also something that we can spend time doing and put more effort into. So that sounds like it could be a pretty cool idea, I think. Okay, so let's look at mechanism real quick so I can set up some auto crafting for this. What I'm going to want to set up auto crafting for are all of these things here. So these doohickeys right here. We want to set up auto crafting for all of this. Even refined obsidian dust and refined obsidian ingots. So we're going to need a way to get obsidian quickly. Because we're going to need a lot of it. Now we could go with the obsidian seeds, but I kind of want to avoid doing that if we can. So let's look through potential alternatives. Now, if we get, oh, is this ice bomb? Oh, okay. This isn't like a block that we can just throw it into to make that happen. Okay. We actually have to use something like an ice bomb for that. And that's with uh, twilight forest, which we haven't done yet. Okay. Uh, we do have, we do have lava coming in, but this is not going to be an amount that is going to be enough to provide us the amount of obsidian we need yes this is 32 buckets and this is just sitting here not doing anything at the moment but this absolutely will not be enough to provide us what we need oh also i did get a comment telling me exactly why zombies were showing up and i really appreciated that it was saying something to do with not having any light over here so let's see if i can find something with lights uh maybe we'll just do a glowstone just do an old school one two three four five so there's five so we want to do this right here We'll just do it right there. Do some glowstone so there's some light over here. And then we shouldn't get any more zombies. I don't know exactly what their combs provide. Uh, let's look that up, actually. So we have zombie combs. What do they give you? Uh, rotten flesh, wax, and honey. Okay. Neat. Anyway. So for the mechanism stuff here. Since we're going to want refined obsidian dust, that absolutely means that we're going to need obsidian. So... We need to look into maybe a way to set something up in the nether that is like an infinite pump for lava instead of what we have here. Like, yes, we could set up more cauldrons and more dripstone and more lava, etc. But I don't know if that's an efficient thing to do. I wonder if there's a pipe that will pump lava but not remove the source. I don't know if that exa actually exists. Let's see. Okay, we're not going to find lava pump. Let's just find pump. Let's look for pump here. See if we can find anything that can do that. Might have to do some extra research as well. Uh, but I typically tr like to try to figure things out <laughs> by myself if I can. So a lava lamp, that's cool. We could make a lava lamp. Oh man, that's so loud for me still. Goodness. I'm going to have to turn that down. That is so loud. Orange laser lens turns trees. I actually haven't ever used a laser drill. Or actually, I haven't used it in a long time. Oh, mechanical squeezer can crush blaze powder into lava or netherrack into lava interesting okay that takes 37 seconds to get one bucket but a mechanical squeezer i've never even heard of this thing what does this take integrated dynamics is that it's like its own separate mod thing well let's let's go ahead and make one that sounds pretty damn cool we need crystallized mineral how do you get mineral Oh, you need mineral planks, so we need mineral logs going into a mechanical squeezer, but to get a mechanical squeezer, we need mineral. Um, how do you get mineral chunks? This is interesting. This is something that I'm going to have to look into here. 
drying basin mineral resin. How do you get mineral resin? Is this the first stage right here? In the squeezer. Ah, okay. All right. So we have, we've learned about this ourselves. That's really cool. How do you get mineral resin though? Or you can use a fluid extractor. Okay. Where do mineral logs come from? Well, obviously mineral saplings. Uh, and a lumber bee. Lumber bees can output them. But I also think maybe we can buy something. What is it called? Store? I actually don't know. I've only built it once, one time before. Someone commented about it on one of my videos. I'm going to go and see if I can find that. So there's a market. I need red wool. So I need red dye and red wool. Um, do I not have... I have no wool. Okay. Well, let's get some string because we have a ton of string. And let's make some wool. We'll make our market. Some weird emerald guy is going to show up. Oh, emerald lad. So let's take some emeralds here. And let's throw down a market right here. Oh, it changed. Now he's falling. He did? Oh, look at you. Last time he would, like, come out of the ground. His name is Emerald Muncher. Hello, Emerald Muncher. We can buy the mineral sapling. Very nice. Okay. So now we can set up a mineral sapling in a hopper botany pot. Uh, that could be really cool. Now I can remove this cactus. And I'm going to make some better soil uh, or farmland. So let's go ahead and make some, I suppose, Supremium farmland here. If I place this next to... Ooh, we got some quest rewards. If I place this next to all of the stuff down there, will it work well? Will it work better? I don't know the effects. I don't know if the effects apply to something that is in the Hopper Botany Pot. That could be interesting to find out. So why don't we go, why don't we go check? I wonder if this will work. So let's go ahead and place, let's place this here. Let's place this on top and we'll place this in here. Does this, do these lily pads affect you? It doesn't look like it. I wonder if there's a better way to grow saplings or to harvest saplings rather than having it in the hopper botany pot. Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's probably a better way. I'm sure industrial foregoing has something for it. I'm sure it has something, right? Will the plant gatherer and plant sower work? Ouch, you damn cactus. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna lock this thing. Actually, we're gonna unlock it because I don't know what else is gonna go in there and we'll just make some upgrades and put them in there for now. And we'll upgrade these upgrades. I'm going to upgrade your upgrade for you. Okay. Whoa, that was a spooky look, a spooky sound you was making. Now. So let's check these in here. And this thing's going to grow super duper slow, which sucks a lot. So let's take some. Meneglin Discovery. Okay. Let's uh, make the squeezer here. I think I have to jump on this thing. Let's check what we can do with this. I want to make sure that we're doing it the best way possible. So this makes a thousand and this makes 250. Okay, so it is worth doing this. And I think I have to jump on this. Yeah, boop, boop, oh, boop. Or do I just right click it? Eh, eh, bam. Do I have to go from like a super duper big height? Eh, bam, sweet. Okay, now we need a bucket. Let's grab some of this right here. I've actually never messed with this mod, so I have no idea. Do I have to jump on this again? How can I extract this? How can I extract the mineral resin? Uh-oh. I don't want to break it and then lose it. Shoot. Can I hype it into a tank? God, these tanks are so annoying. They always show up like that. Mechanism tank. Just like, get rid of all of the, the tanks that are full of stuff, man. Let's hook it to here and do this. And see if I can make it come out. Get out of there. Oh, it worked. Nice. Get in my bucket. Now can I put this in here? Into the fluid grid? Yeah, there we go. Mineral resin. Okay. Now, what do I do with this again? I can put it into a drying basin. Fluid encapsulator. Okay, so I need to put it in a mechanical drying basin. Wait, can I make this? No. I have to make a regular drying basin first. And we need black dye. I think we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. Let's clear this out a little bit. 
Okay, now let's make our drying basin here. Let's just chuck this down right here. Let's go ahead and grab the fluid from here. And let's put it in here. And now we wait for it to dry. Okay, sweet. So the reason we're doing this again is because if you use this mod um, with the energy battery, let's go, where was it? Is it here? Yeah, mechanical squeezer here. We want to use this because we can get lava from it, if I can find it right here. So this is the netherrack one. You can get lava from that. Uh, you can also get lava from magma cream, and it was also blaze powder. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and that's something that I do want to try to do. How many blaze rods do we have? We have 6,000 blaze rods, so we could make quite a bit of lava if we set it up to take blaze powder. But I think I'm going to ignore that, and I'm just going to do netherrack because we have so much of it. I mean, this is we have 18,000 netherrack. Or no, 20,000, yeah, right here. We have 20,000, and we have 20,000 netherrack dust. What can we turn this into? Is this Greg Tech? It is Greg Tech. Okay, so this is just going to be, we have to make a packer. Netherrack dust gets packed into small netherrack dust, and then it turns into netherrack dust. Blah, 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 and I don't know what else. And then we make netherrack bricks, and then the bricks do what? Turn into red netherrack bricks. Yeah, that's lame. I don't like that. Anyway, so that's why we want to do this. Is it finished? Nice. So that's exactly why we want to do this. We want to make this mechanical squeezer so we can go ahead and do that. We're going to need a lot more mineral, especially if we want to make the mechanical squeezer. And we will want to, but we're going to need even more mineral. So we're going to have to do some manual work here for now. Do I have to... Can I just put... No, I just I can't put it back in there. How do I reset this thing? Do I have to break it? I, that's annoying. I hope the pipe stays... Okay, the pipe stays at the same configuration. That's good, at least. So let's grab the mineral here. Let's put it in there. Let's stomp on this thing. Bam. 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 Did it go in there? Nice. Can I not reset you? Do I have to break you every time? I don't know, because I've never used you before, but that is okay. Let's check how much you got in here. Give us some of those berries. What are these? Mineral berries? Give me two hearts right now. Oh, I'm not hungry. Well, we'll just chuck this in here in front of the toast. Okay, so we have more of the fluid. So let's go ahead and take that, and we'll put it in the drying basin. I'm going to take this with me, so we can put this outside with us, so it's drying right next to us. So let's put that right there. Let's put that in there. Let's drop another log in here and get to stepping. Let it go so high. Maybe if we like go up really far, it'll go better. I don't know. Okay, sweet. It's done. This is also done. That's good. Come here. Go in there. And now we repeat. Can I not reset you? That is very annoying. Bam. Let's grab this. Grab that. Do that. Where's Mr. Cluckington at, dude? Boom. So we have four blocks, and then we have nine crystallized men. Okay, so we need to do it one more time, and then we're good to go. We are good to go with the mineral, hopefully, for now. Hurry up. When I'm not looking, you go so fast. And of course, as soon as I say something, you just say, yeah, okay, I'll go fast. All right, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and go in here and try to make this mechanical squeezer now. We're going to need two of these batteries, right? Was that what that was? I sure hope it was because I made two. All right, they're just filling up with power, so it was being weird. Okay, we have the mechanical squeezer. Very nice. So this, we're probably going to go ahead and put downstairs. And we're definitely going to need auto crafting set up for this one too. And we need to set up this cable going under this part here. Oh, damn it. I would break the cable itself and mess up my entire system. Okay, so we have that done. Now we're going to go over here with this already. So now, I'm going to go ahead and do this here. We needed to set up an importer right there. So put this here. It has energy. That's good. This is a weird looking interface. Uh, let's go ahead and make an importer. We're going to need two exporters on this thing. Interesting, because we're going to need fluid, and we're also going to need, uh... Do we? Yeah, we... No, 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 no. We need an importer, 
to put an importer onto here so we send netherrack here and then we're gonna send lava and we're gonna get lava okay so we only need one exporter unless we want to start doing stuff with the uh mycelial again or the mineral sorry not mycelial the mineral stuff then we'll need another exporter so we'll go ahead and put an exporter on here and we will tell it netherrack so we'll just continuously extract netherrack oh what's it doing oh this is importing so let's blacklist netherrack it shouldn't be taking it out it should be letting it get squeezed i don't know that's bad because this is this should be an input slot so the importer shouldn't even see that that sucks but it's getting squeezed we might want to have two mechanical squeezers yeah we're gonna want another one so let's go ahead and we'll wait for that to eject some lava and then we'll do this here Whoa, what the hell? That bugged out. Oh, man, it's because I didn't tell it to not take out mineral. This is not cool. Mineral log. Okay, so let's take the mineral again. Since it took it away. Did it take the lava out? Oh, I could just change this to fluids. Duh. Yeah, take the fluids out. Now take this. Oh, it just gives me chunks. Okay. I did not know that. It gives me way less... Oh, but it also gives um, the fluid. So we're going to need another mechanical squeezer then. And also another importer on this. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I wish I could tell this importer to do multiple things. Okay, well, this does work. We're just going to need to put another importer on here, which really kind of blows. I don't want to do that. Uh, what we could do instead, actually, is remove this cable here. But then that defeats the whole purpose of all of these cables. I got to use my big brain. I was going to say we could just put the power on the front. Uh, but we might just put an importer on the front. We might just do that. And then we just need to tell it to not take out netherrack or mineral. So we'll tell it to not take mineral logs. And we'll also do the planks as well. Right here, the mineral planks. And we'll leave this on items. Okay. And this is continuing to do its thing. Now we just need to cable this bad boy up, like so. And then it'll start, hopefully, pulling these things out. Is it not going to? Because it's on the front now? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. Really? No, it's not taking these out at all. It can't see this? What in the world am I dealing with here? Am I seriously going to have to item pipe these out? That is weird. That is very odd. I don't like that. Well, let's just break this and we're going to do a pipe here and we'll do a barrel and then we'll just do an importer under it, I guess. This is very, very intriguing. Is this broken? I don't know because I've never messed with this mod, but that doesn't seem like it's what's supposed to happen. So we'll add a blacklist and we will throw this in here and we'll submit that then we need to do mineral and we need to do an add and we'll drop this in here submit that okay so now this shouldn't take netherrack anymore what happens if i chuck this in here i can't it won't auto eject fluids i sure hope you work uh i need to go set up the mineral to get pulled out so i'm gonna go to sleep real quick because it's raining this has been quite an interesting development <laughs> who knew that messing with this block would show me that it's kind of broken ouch okay so i'm just gonna since this seems to not be getting affected i'm just gonna go ahead and move it back over to where i had it because it's all over there it's already getting imported into my network so we're just gonna go ahead and do that just drop this here Drop that there. Where did my soil go? Oh, did it get picked up by the hopper? Um, no. What? In the world? The farmland isn't there. Well, I guess I have to make another one. I don't know what happened. Okay, anyway, we'll put the farmland in there. And this will... Well, we have to fix this. So do that. And then it should get yoinked out. There we go. So that's automatically going into the system now. That's good. 
Let's go back down here and see if this is going to get screwed up if I tell this to output mineral. So let's just replace that. We'll take this out. The lava's not even getting exported. Oh, it's because you're on items now. So let's do fluids. And are you going to output mineral? Mineral log. We don't have any. What's that? What is happening? Where? That barrel should be over here. Oh, no, it's outside. Whoops. Okay, so let's go outside. Check this barrel here. You're not getting output. Why? Importer items on. Go eggs. Make chicken babies. No chicken babies. I'm very confused. What is happening right now? Are we out of storage? We are out of storage. See, that makes sense. Okay, so we're out of storage. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen so soon. Is it these ores? I bet it is. It's all these Greg Tech ores. They're absolutely destroying our system here. Do we have another quartz sitting outside? We don't, so even doing that wouldn't help. We need to get that outside too. And then... Okay, well, we need a storage disk, like, yesterday. So, I guess we're going to do this now, because I wasn't going to do this yet, but we're going to go ahead and tell this how to make all of these things. So, you're going to learn how to make that. And then, we need to go ahead and tell it how to make this, this, this. Okay, now, we need to go up to 256k for that, to 1024. 4096 okay let's put all these in there now we should be able to tell the crafter to craft us a 4096 oh we're missing some of those can we craft one still no we're missing some stuff so let's go ahead and craft a 1024 we're missing more fire essence what do we need fire essence for probably glass or probably sand so let's go mine some sand. Let's go get some sand. And actually, we, we can't even put anything in our network. <laughs> we can't. We can't do anything right now. Oh no. We're at a we're at quite the predicament right now. We just need I mean we need more glass, which I can put it I can I guess I can grab some black sand. And then we can throw it into the furnace and then try to clear out space. That's all I can think about. Okay, we have some. Let's go slash home. Oh. What happened? My game just crashed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I hope we didn't lose anything. I sure hope that we didn't lose much. I really, really hope so. Okay, we are back in. Oh, I didn't even pick up any sand because I don't oh know. I got 257 at least, but that's not that much. Let's just do that. It's going to make it. Now I need to try to make some space here. Okay, I'll just tell my backpack to pick stuff up. And we'll just drop some of this out. The problem is the end chest. I'm going to have to disconnect that right quick. We're going to have to go here and we're going to have to tell it to whitelist. So it stops importing. Holy crap, look at all that raw silver. Yeah, that's that's our predicament right now. I bet the barrel down there is so full that it can't do anything. There's so much in the queue waiting to get put in here. Oh no. Did you get imported yet? You did. So we need more glass. Okay. Well, let's go get some more sand, I guess, because I clearly didn't pick up like any of it. Let's just grab some more then because I'd like to get a disc or three. Who would have thunk that we'd run out of space? I honestly should have, especially because we made the quarry run way faster. I should have thought about that. I did not think about it at all. Oh, goodness gracious. Um... Let's just take all of this sand. We have other priorities right now. We need to get some glass on the way. On the way. We're also going to need nether quartz from what it looked like. So 
Are you full again? Yeah, our storage is full again. Okay, so let's continue to take some stuff out. We'll just drop this on the floor. Actually, you know what might be a better idea? Uh, we need another drawer here. Do we have... Okay, we have space, but we're going to go ahead and grab a drawer. We probably want a bigger drawer than that. So we probably want a 2x2. Two two. We'll do this. We need to put that dust in here. So the end stone dust, deep slate dust, stone dust, netherrack dust. Damn, we sh I should have thought about that. Greg Tech, you really are screwing me over right now. And what we're going to do is we'll turn on the, we'll grab our exporter that we have here. And we're going to go ahead and do this. We'll just do one, two, three, four, like that. We'll check these on here. And we should have some speed and stack. There we go. Good thing we had those with us. So we'll do this and we'll get these things out of our friggin' system. Get out of there. But now we're going to need some upgrades. So let's go ahead and make some. Okay. They're getting pumped out. That's good. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I don't recall ever getting much of this. So I never noticed. Okay, so they're all out. That's good. So now we can disconnect this. And the good thing about us having turned off the system downstairs or the import downstairs is now that whenever we add something back or whenever we turn it back on, all of it should go directly into here once we add it to the network. So we're on that one already. Let's add this. Okay, boom. Now it's added. And now we have some reprieve of space. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're not going to have it for long if I go down here and turn this on, but we oh. Let's go ahead and drop that in. How much? Yeah, we're already we're already starting to fill up again, of course. But that is okay. So let's take this raw nether quartz. Uh, we're probably going to want to set up another. Oh, actually, we could just put it there. So let's do that. Let's drop that right there. Do I want to do that? Yeah, probably. Okay, let's do that. And let's go ahead and grab the Elite Exporter again. And we'll do this. All right. Now re-add it really fast. We probably have a couple extra coal and charcoal and these in the system but that's better than having 4k in there so this now now that we have that stored in there we can go ahead and tell this raw nether quartz to automatically get output right here so we'll tell that to happen and it'll cook up some nether quartz for us so that'll be really good goodness i need to set up i need to set up drawers for all of that raw ore we probably need to do that like asap which i might do let's uh let's take a detour real quick Let's make some compacting drawers here. Let's make a ton of them. The way I'm hovering right here is I'm holding space and control. Control is my crouch key, not shift. I swap those around every time I play. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here. We're going to need to make another drawer controller. What? How did you... I need to put another big torch over here. Or a mega torch. So let's go functional. Ooh, not for functional Functional storage. Storage controller, not drawer controller. Okay. Um, we don't have any stone. <laughs> oh, no. We need to take some cobble and throw it in the furnace. Let's just go do that right here. So storage controller. Let's make one of these. Let's chuck this into the ground right here. And what we can do with this, since it's right here, we can hook up an external storage on it, like so. And then we can cable it up to our network here. There we go. So that's hooked up now. And what we can do is we're going to lock all of these. And we're going to go ahead and put the raw ore into here. We also need upgrades. Uh, so let's go ahead and craft a lot of these because we're going to need to. We'll do three upgrades on each of these. And let's just go to town on this. So we'll take a stack out for that. Just go ahead and do that. 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 Tin there, iron there, gold there, there. Okay, now here's where things will become troublesome, I think. So, exporter, robots in disguise. So, we need to turn off or take all of the drawers off of the system, and then we just need to have this output everything. And this is where it gets annoying because we're going to have to go and we're going to have to check the filter for each. I see an importer here. I don't see my exporter, though. I don't... Oh, it's in my hand. Duh. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and do th this 10 here. We'll set up a cable We're going across like that. Let's grab one of these and one of these. Let's tell this to output those and we'll do this. Now we need to go to the drawer, the linking tool here, and we're gonna set it to remove single and we'll remove this and watch this thing go up. Okay, now we add it. Sweet. Now we can chuck that back on there and chuck that back on there. We should now still see the 10, that's good. Now we need to go and break this and this. Go ahead and do this, It'd be easier for me. So do this and the uranite is all gone. Is it all gone? Uranium. The blocks of uranium are still here. So let's go ahead and remove this and chuck that on there. Okay, sweet, all that's going in there now. Let's check again, uranium. All right, those are all out. Let's add it back to the network. There we go, perfect. And it'll also solve the problem of us getting raw blocks as well. And then it'll get automatically converted into the ore, which is super awesome, like that. But we're gonna have to go buy these one by one to fix the entire issue, which sucks, but it's okay. We need to upgrade this barrel though. We'll do a gold to diamond upgrade on this. Then we'll do uh, another stack upgrade, tier three. And we'll do that, and then we'll redo that. There we go, nice. So these can stack up to 32,000 now, which is very beautiful. Go, go, go. Well, well, well. These are all sorted. Let's go check our storage real quick. How much space did we save? Quite a lot, look at that, oh my goodness. Yeah, we saved a ton of space doing that. Now we just need to worry about these Greg Tech ore. Is there another rock salt? Yeah, okay, okay, yep, yep. We'll probably just make separate drawers for the Greg Tech stuff just to sit in. Um, but for now, we'll just have to leave it how it is. How are you? You can start up to 2.1 million, so you are fine. We're chilling there, okay. Well, that was a hurdle and a half that we had to get over, goodness. But at least we resolved it. We have a ton of space now. This thing is absolutely packed to the brim with ore to smelt still. Holy cow, our system. We can probably afford to power these things up all the way now as well. So we might just do that. I think we have all of the energy upgrades that we can get on here. Or, uh, yeah, energy. So let's go ahead and just pump this all the way up. How much is that? So all the way maxed out. Okay. You... We'll pump you all the way up too. We'll pump you all the way up, pump it up. Oh, you need another energy upgrade. Oh, we already have some, nice, sweet. We should be good to go on all fronts. I sure hope we are. It looks like we're holding up here. I mean, it's using 20K power, so I sure hope it, I sure hope it can keep up there. Are we maxed out here? Yeah, we are. Okay, so this will this will speed up the system a bit, but we're still going to be bottlenecked in some places, like here and all of these. Yeah, this one's a major bottleneck because of the chemical injection shaper. And you can upgrade this one too, even further. So we might need to just add another line on top of this system here, which kind of sucks. But we will we will automate mechanism before we get to that point. We're going to automate making mechanism stuff first. Are we still outputting a solid 100k? Yes, we are. 100.6. Oh, that's because it's filling up like my jetpack and stuff. Okay. Still good here. 216k. How's our uraninite? 1.5k. Beautiful. So we're positive. We're net positive on uraninite. And we have this 200k power generator. How are you doing over here? You guys aren't even running. That is a good sign. That is a good sign for us. Okay. Sweet. Everything balanced out. We're good to go there. That is awesome. Fan freaking tastic. So that will run a bit faster now. Now back to what we wanted to do. Now we can worry about what we wanted to do, which was we ultimately did want to go ahead and make another storage disk. So let's try to make a 4096 now. We're still running out of fire essence and dirt essence. What do we need that for? Probably sand, right? You know, we need a ton of glass. Okay. Um. 
shoot. So we're limited by glass, right? I know what I must do. <laughs> it's time to go get more sand. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of it, so let's go ahead and just grab a ton. Sorry to make this area ugly, but it is what it is. I need sand. I'll just grab a few thousand before I go back. How much are we at now? Oh, man, we need to turn on the backpack. Well, yep, get in there. How much do we have now? Okay, that is enough. I think, I hope, I hope it is. Let's go ahead and check this. Is this, can this output black sand? Okay, it can. All right, sweet. Let's just start going. There we go. We deposited our upgrade, so let's grab those again. Let's toss another speed upgrade on here so it can be even faster. There's a ton of glass that we're getting there. Let's go into our crafting grid. See if we can make this now. Still need more glass. We just gotta wait for this netherite furnace to finish. Isn't that crazy that the netherite furnace still isn't keeping up properly? That's nuts. Come on, baby. On that glass, I should probably upgrade this furnace too. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Let's upgrade this to the all, all the modium furnace here. Do that, grab this, boom. Oh, game froze. Let's do that there. And we will chuck this in here on auto inputs split on and then outputs fuel inputs fuel input at the bottom and we have our plug so let's go ahead and put this on here like so just change the limit to 25k see if that's enough and put it on this network okay that's so fast oh my goodness we need to do a stack upgrade on you bud did i already finish that stuff nice yeah that was worth it okay so now let's hope that we can make this we can let's go let's start it okay so this is going to take a while but it is auto crafted which is really nice and this thing is super fast, so it can handle all of that. Can I put a stack upgrade on that thing? Let's make another one. Can I put one on here? Nope, just speeds. But now I have another stack upgrade. Nice. Okay, how are things going down here? Are you doing anything? You are full. You can't touch that either? What is going on? Does it have to be like out of the side? This is confusing to me. Um, interesting. What if I put a drawer next to it? No. We are back into the testing phase here. Can't, still can't take it out. That is confusing. This is very unfortunate for the mechanical squeezer, man. At least we can do stuff with lava. But it can't take the items out of here. That is very, very unfortunate. Well, at least we can do netherrack. Just turn the mineral logs off, I guess. That sucks, man. That really does suck. I don't even know how I would begin to fix that either. I don't have any ideas for that. Which really sucks. I was, I was really hoping that this would be like our big solution for all of that. Which kind of blows... But it's okay, I guess. Look at the Thermalpedia book. So we can learn stuff and things. Well, we can make another... Another mechanical squeezer, I suppose. So we can make another mechanical squeezer so we can have two netherrack going at once. But that would be the only reason to do this. Because we're running into too many problems with it. So let's go ahead and do this. Maybe I need to like input and output out of the bottom, I guess. I don't know for sure. But let's take an importer and an exporter again. So do exporter here. Oh crap. Um, we're not going to be able to do that because it's making the disc. Uh, how's that going? Ah, you see, I messed this up. I need to allow input on the right side. That's why it couldn't do anything. I'm silly. All right, now it should be going much faster. Oh yeah, look at that percentage going up. Juicy. Okay, it was literally just sitting there for like four minutes not doing anything. And look how much faster this is going. 
Yep, that was my bad. Nice. 90%. 7, 8, 9, 100. Very nice. Okay. So now that we have that storage disk in here, or rather the storage part, let's go ahead and make the 4096K disk. And this will give us a lot more headroom for item storage, which we really, really needed. We're doing good on fluid storage still. Still getting some fluid storage as well. So now we should be able to make our exporter here after we kind of goofed up <laughs> and had the thing uh, waiting because it couldn't do anything. So let's turn this back on to items so this will continue working again. Alrighty. You're doing the thing. You're going to be doing the thing too. So let's go over here again. Let's put the importer back here. And we'll tell it fluids just like that one. This is working on netherrack. And we're going to want to do the same here. And I don't really know how to speed these up. I don't think I can. I think these are at their limit. Yeah, they are. Look at this though. Wow, you can take a copper ore like so. And then you can just squeeze it into so much... Is that the same for everything else? Diamonds is only three. I think our fortune gives more than that. Oh, we can take snow and turn it into water, though. Can we do the reverse, though? If we could do the reverse, that'd be cool, because I do need a way to make snow. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I don't want to deal with anything that outputs items anyway, because this thing has been mad annoying with items. But now we have lava, at least. Now we just need a way to turn this lava into obsidian. Use a blast chiller from Thermal Series, but I think we have to input something to this item. Oh, I guess we don't have to. It would work on its own. But we could use a blast chiller, maybe. I don't want to get into making Greg Tech machines right now. Not with how much how much strife and problems it's been giving me. Oh, we could do a fluid mixer. Interesting. I've never messed with uh, pneumatic craft, but that could be fun. Maybe I do that, because I think also Pneumatic Craft is the mod that I'm going to need to make, like, ice. So it might be worth looking into this item. Oh, but can I already make it? Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, I was about to say, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. How do I get reinforced bricks? Ah, reinforced stone with this. Fluid mixer, which I need these for, which is interesting. That's an interesting block choice. Small fluid tank. How many was that? Three. Small fluid tanks, pressure tubes. I hope we have a lot of compressed iron ingots. I don't know exactly how to get those. Uh, pressure chamber. Ah, to get the turbine blades, we need to make a pressure chamber. Okay. I suppose it's time to get into pneumatic craft. This will be a way to make ice as well as make our lava into obsidian. So that would be a good thing to get done. Okay, let's get into the basics of pneumatic craft. We want to turn lava into obsidian, but we can also use this to make ice. So let's go ahead and get a basic pressure chamber done here, where it looks like we're going to need a bunch of reinforced bricks, which means we're going to need quite a bit of reinforced stone, and which also means we need some stone. So... What I'm thinking we want to do here is probably put stone in one of our interfaces downstairs so we can always have some stone ready for us. We'll just chuck it in here and we'll change this to 64. Now we need to go upstairs and make a pattern to turn cobble into stone. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll do that and we'll chuck this in here and then this should just go ahead and start making it for us. There we go. Now our system will always keep 64 stone prepped for us, which is very, very nice to see. Uh, we're going to need to make pressure chamber walls. We're going to need to make two valves. Uh, we'll just go ahead and make four, I guess, from that. And we're going to need a chamber interface. So it looks like we're going to need a hopper. So let's go ahead and make a hopper. And we're going to need some chamber glass. We don't need this, but I want this. So I'm going to make this. We're going to make some of this too. We'll need some. Let's go ahead and make some glass. Oh, it looks like we need glass though. Do we have no sand? 
If sand's stone, we're all oil, sands, and sand. Hmm. Are we not storing glass? Ah, oh, we're out of fire essence. Well, shoot. So we're going to probably need more fire essence here. Are we not growing any? No, we're definitely growing some. Is it just not coming into the system? It is. We just need this to grow faster, I guess. It's going. Is there glass now? There is no glass. That is being used up by our system quite a lot. We might want to go ahead and make this grow even faster. We might even need more fire seeds. Ah, I see. We're not even growing fire seeds fast right now. Well, that is something that we need to solve. Do we have much prismarine? Not prismarine. Um, just do mystical. Okay, here it is. Prosperity. So we do have quite a bit of prosperity shards. That's good. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of these. Okay, so fire seeds, where are you? One, two, three. Okay, so that's one away from the dirt. Because that is the dirt, and then it's right here. Always, every single time. It never fails. I always end up placing one of those wrong. Okay, maybe we do want to get the dirt as well. Um, so let's go ahead and go into here. We'll at least upgrade this. See, what I tell you, every single time I always mess up one of those blocks. Now, we're going to definitely need to do this. Gosh, see, there I go, one more time. Again, but the reason, the reason we're doing this is because we need some glass right now. But also, this is to eliminate us being out of the fire and dirt seeds so, or essence so often. Because we have to... We have a lot of auto crafting going on with the dirt and fire seeds, so that's really causing us some issues right now that I would like to resolve. Well, we might as well make more of those because I put them on the wrong stack, but that's okay because it looks like we can. We, we do have enough of the blue. There we go. I should have just been doing that from the start. Okay, so these are quite far down with the growth crystals. Now let's hope that these things are kicking off fast. They're definitely growing much faster than the rest. That's really good. Do a duck over here. I keep hearing a duck. There you are. Hello, mallard. How are you? You good? He's good. Okay, so I hope that resolves our issue of always being out of fire essence and such. I sure hope it does. Let's go ahead and I guess, oh, well, never mind. We can't do that. But I mean, this thing does need to continue to kick off. That's the unfortunate part. And that's what I mean when we're running out of stuff here. Yeah, because we're only making as much glass as we, as we can. I'm just going to try to snag some fire essence when it comes through. Go ahead and craft some sand of our own volition. Let's grab one of our furnaces here. And we'll just grab some coal. Damn, we have 71,000 coal. That's crazy. Drop that there. We'll just put the glass here. Because we need our own glass. Because our system is eating up all of our glass. That does definitely mean that we need more fire and dirt seeds. Unfortunately, they're just both very annoying to get our hands on. So let's go ahead and make some pressure chamber glass. That wasn't the only reason I made it, of course, just to get that. <laughs> I just wanted to try to resolve the problem of never having enough. So I have only built one of these one time, and I never used it. So this is a new experience for me. So where do I want to build this thing? Uh, so let's go ahead and start building this thing. I don't know exactly how big this needs to be. I'm pretty sure I just need to have one block in the middle. So we should be fine like that. Oh, I'm going to need some more pressure chamber walls. Like so. And then what we can do is do a valve there and a valve. Or is it valve or interface? It's the interface. So we need to break this. We need one valve. I'm a vandal. What is that achievement for? Breaking machines that is 
like it like that is so uncivilized consider sneak right clicking with a pneumatic wrench oh come on bite me okay so now let's do a valve back here i'll put some glass here all right hello firefly we're going to need to leverage our network i believe so let's go ahead and get some cables out and we'll move this over here to the center here and go back and we'll just break actually we won't break that we'll just go up and over like so so i can have room so we'll do that and for the pressure valve i believe we need some pressure tubes on it like so we need some pressure tubes and let's go to pneumatic craft so pneumatic craft is very heavily reliant on air pressure and we're going to just mess with an air compressor there's a manual compressor and everything as well but for my case and my purpose i'm just going to use this and what we can do is we can pipe fuel into this which i might just go ahead and do i might just go ahead and use an exporter here and we will pipe coal into this where did i put my cables there we go i always lose those things so let's go ahead and pipe this here and let's go ahead and tell this to grab actually we'll grab charcoal because it's renewable because we have that renewable oh my goodness that is very loud but why is it making such a loud noise do i need to I see. Maybe I need to do that. There we go. Okay, it worked. All right, so I missed one block at the bottom. Um, I believe you can make this bigger, but I believe this is fine for our purposes at the moment. No problems. We're getting pressure. It's filling up the bars. So if these things do get too pressurized, they will do a mini explosion. So what we need to do to resolve that or to make sure that doesn't happen is we can get safety tube modules we also need to make pressure gauges so let's go ahead and make some of those and we'll grab some safety tube modules oh it looks like we are out of pressure tubes because we're out of compressed iron okay we can go ahead and talk about how to get compressed iron without this system you can also get compressed iron by using this system but the way that you'll mainly get compressed iron is with tnt all right, so here, what we need to do is we need to grab iron ingots. Let's do an experiment. We'll also do some iron blocks to see if that works too, because I actually don't know that. Now we need to get a flint and steel. Let's grab this. Let's go ahead and do this. So we'll place this here. Let's try the blocks first to see if this will actually... Oh, never mind. I got to turn off my magnet and then turn this magnet off. Let's go ahead and see if this works. I actually don't know if this will work, so let's hope. Did that work? Oh, sweet. So, we I just learned something. We learned something together. So you can take iron blocks and turn it into compressed, comple compressed iron blocks as well. But the typical way that you would do this is you just place this, you drop some iron, and then you light the TNT, and then it'll turn into compressed iron. You do lose some during the process, uh, but that is how you get compressed iron. And now we have quite a bit of it, which is very nice to see. And I'll probably want to put this into something. Maybe I'll just throw it in here like that. And we'll just toss that in there. Let's see if I have compressed iron now. I should. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I wanted to toss it in there so I can have blocks or ingots. All right. So now we have that. This is still getting pressurized. It's going up and up and up. It's up to 1.63 bars. These pressurized tubes can hold five bars of pressure before they start exploding. And that's why we need the safety tube modules. These make it so they don't explode. So, um, I placed it under it. I don't know if that will work. Can I just... Nope, I cannot. Well... We learned that I don't know what I'm doing. So, place this back on. That was the sound of it losing pressure. It's very loud. Oh, I see. Okay, so I can see where it's hovering on. So, let's do it there. 
and we will also do one there and I also have a third tube here so we'll place it there so these make it so they don't explode when they reach their threshold of uh, pressure so that's nice this is always on okay it's burning coal you can also put upgrades into these so this one can take one upgrade adds a built-in safety valve to the machine automatically releasing them some air if the pressure is high so we're probably going to want one of those so the machine itself doesn't explode then you can also get speed upgrades to increase the compressed air per tick uh, but it also loses efficiency then you can do volume upgrades for the air capacity which is interesting uh, i haven't messed with these before this is my first time messing with pneumatic craft i just know the basics so we're going to learn quite a bit together but we definitely want one of those safety upgrades i know i know that pneumatic craft also does a lot with drones that you can see up here uh, so i'm sure a lot of these upgrades are for drones as well as for uh, the minigun and such so let's go ahead and make a security upgrade which we're going to need a safety valve for safety tube module that's what they're called but we also need some pressurized tubes which means we need glass okay let's go over to our furnace over here because we are out of glass and i don't like that what we could do is tell our system to hold on to glass and then in that case it won't use at least 64 of it but it'll continuously use it as it's ne as necessary later uh, with any other recipes. But it will make sure that we always have 64. So that might be something that we want to do. Go look security up. We need to craft a safety module or safety tube. And now we can craft a security upgrade. And let's go ahead and pop this in here. So now it will automatically release some air if the pressure rises into the danger zone. So that's good. All right, it's building up pressure right now, and the pressure's there. Okay, so the way that we're going to use this, if this will allow me to do what I want with the fluids, and we'll do this. Now we need to bring the cable around. We're going to tell this to output lava. Dried salt. Okay, get out of my inventory. My inventory is very full. This is real estate that you can't, you don't deserve to be in. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. See if this will take in lava. So is this the insert part right here? Ah, this is the import side. Okay. So I was doing things incorrectly. So let's go ahead and take that out. We need to grab this again. Man, this this is like not cool. Get out of my inventory, please. I need space. Thank you. Just trying to think of something clever to say with real estate. But I couldn't. Oh, well. Why, it's going to come to me later and I'm going to feel like a total moron. Uh, prime real estate yeah that's what i was gonna say see <laughs> but it's too late now it doesn't sound as cool lava here and i want to see if this will actually take lava fluid mixer is that what i need am i being silly ah yes that's what i was making i was making a fluid mixer duh i remember that the only reason i was making the pressure chamber <laughs> was to get to get the turbine blades the gold ingots and the redstone dust oh my goodness Okay, all right. Well, I remembered why I was doing this. Okay, thank you myself. All right. Whoa. Okay, it got too pressurized, I guess. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and make an item pipe. You can also use the omnidirectional hoppers as well from this mod, and it will give you the same process. So let's go ahead and do this. And now we need to tell this to output gold and redstone. So we'll do that. Warnings, no valid items in chamber. Insert valid items. Oh, uh, whoops. You have gold in there. Okay, so you need somewhere to put that. So let's go ahead and grab an importer then, and we'll just import into our system. I bet it's because that thing is dumb, the item pipe, so it's just throwing everything in there. Let's go ahead and just connect this to our system here so it'll output stuff. I want it to only output crafted. Are you in there with... You're not in there with redstone. What are you doing? I need to figure out how to get this to work properly. Round robin on. Export slot rotates each time something is successfully exported. Okay. So now, take this chest. Do... Oh, not that. Place it like so. Put the gold in there. Are you going to output into here? You're just outputting a bunch of gold. What are you doing? 
I'm supposed to round robin that. Did it work? Let's check. No, it did not. Now his gold. Now it's taking redstone. Please work. Please work. Not enough. Pressure. Apply more pressure to the pressurized chamber. The required pressure is dependent on the number of items being transported. Oh my goodness. So it transported way too many items. Uh, I might have to just set up a crafter here. That might work. And just tell it to send two. I sure hope that works. I really, really do hope it works. Now, I can't touch the interface. Which sucks. But I should be able to... Hopefully make this output a redstone signal. Is there something I can do? Ah, what I could do is set up a router. I could set up a modular router here. Modular. Let's go over here. Let me go check the other one so I can be sure. Okay, so it's a detector module and a polar module. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is figure out how to send a redstone signal to the crafter. So whenever we're doing auto crafting, we want to do exactly what we did with the power orb where we made the crafter insert the next set on a redstone pulse. Because the main problem that we're having right now with this pressurized air chamber is that we are putting in too many items at once that are over the crafting recipe. So this is one of the many ways that I'm sure exists to resolve this problem. This is just what I'm going to go with to get through that. Yes. Did you do the thing? You did not, and you're not taking out of that, are you? Dang it. Okay, so we need to put something here as well. Okay, so this can only pull from inventories, it looks like. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll do that, and we will do like so. Grab the polar module. Tell it to focus on the barrel here, and we'll do that. Are you taking out of there? You did. But you didn't... Oh, you have it in your buffer. Now we need an importer onto this. Take out of the buffer. You took that out. Did you send a pulse? All match any. I'm going to go check this other detector module. To see. All empty damage any 15. All empty damage any 15. They're the same. I sure hope that you start working. That would be ideal. That'd be very, very cool if you could do that. Thank you. Anyway, I think we have a system set up to where it will make them. Let's test it again. We'll craft three more. Did you work? You didn't send out a pulse again. Well, let's try to solve that problem after we go to sleep because these guys won't leave me alone. Yeah, burn, boy. Okay. So you took something out of there, but you're not... Redstone Pulse inserts next set. Is it on this one too? Yeah, Redstone Pulse inserts next set. I don't think I need like a speed upgrade or anything in here, but I'll throw one in there. Are you just being silly? Do you just not like taking pulses from the bottom? Let's do this. You have those in there. You're still focused on that. Let's go ahead and redstone pulse inserts next sets. Drop this in. Craft two of these. Let's go. You should be waiting. Oh, did it work? It did work, I think. Yeah, I think it worked. Okay, let's take all of these out. Let's make uh, four more. And see if this works. Popped one out. Took one. Okay. We should hear the pop again once it's done. Yes. Okay, I don't know what it is with these crafters here but they don't like taking redstone signals from below them so put the router on top and it works for some reason okay so now this works i would like to lower this down to have it flush with the ground but you know what who cares it works it does what it's supposed to do that is awesome 
So we have auto crafting of these turbine blades now. Beautiful. Okay. And honestly, I probably didn't need to set that up, but you know what? Who cares? All right. This is what we really need. The fluid mixer here. I believe we also need pressure from this, however. Um, and since we already have a pressurized thingy over there, let's go ahead and set this up here. So this needs to take in lava and water. And then we can get, I believe we'll get uh, obsidian from this. It'll output down into here, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and let's get a sink, obviously, because you always need that kitchen sink. <laughs> so let's grab this. Let's grab some pipes here. So we're going to go ahead and do like so. Let's connect this. Let's do that. So it'll output water into there. Now what we need to do is, well, remove that torch. Uh, we'll place it there. So now we need an importer and an exporter. And we will put it on the side here. And yep, we'll just leave it on the side there. We need to grab some cabling. We're going to need more cabling. And we're also going to need an importer. So let's just search porter here. And we'll grab an importer. And cable there. Okay. So this will take all items. Now what we want to do is fluids. Do we have our lava bucket? Tell it to export fluids. Put fluid in there. And there we go. Now we have lava coming into here. And this should, hopefully, I sure hope that it starts producing, well, once it reaches its pressure gauge, we need at least five bars. So we need to grab some pressure tubes. We have two of them. We're going to need some more. So let's make some more. And we're going to need some more pressure gauges because we need some more of these. I don't know how many we're going to need. I believe we're going to probably need five. So let's just make six. Uh, did we leave space for this? We did. Okay, so... Actually, I believe we should probably move the importer on top. Break this off here. Now, we need to place that there. And we need to break this, unfortunately. We'll do that. Okay, so we can place it there. We'll place that one there. That one there. And that one there. Okay, so now we have all safety valves on, or safety tubes, whatever these are called. These, uh, yeah, safety tube modules. So now this should get pressurized. Oh, look at that. Yes. Now we have renewable obsidian. It is very slow just because our lava production is very slow. Um, but we can put, we don't need speed upgrades in here. What we're going to need is a module for this. So we'll put two speed in there. Mm, maybe we'll just do three. Can we do a stack? What does a stack do? <laughs> Oh, it just outputs as much as possible. Okay, so this is just going to eat up all of that. Now we need an upgrade for our water pipe. Chuck this on here. Now the water should keep up, no problem. The lava is just getting output with the obsidian. We're going to need uh, more lava. We should hopefully be able to take this out, can we? Maybe if we make another speed upgrade. So speed upgrade, hopefully this can keep up. It looks like it can. That's good. Okay, sweet. So we have renewable obsidian, and we didn't use mystical agriculture. I had to learn a completely brand new mod for this, and oh, it was such a pain in the ass to set this system up here. But it will allow me to set up recipes that go into here and automate them, which is really cool. So I'm glad that I spent the time to fix this and set this up. So I'm happy with that. I think setting up for automation is always worth it. It's Mr. Cluckington! You're still alive. I thought you were dead, bro. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. You want to come inside, bud? I know it's cold out there. Let, let's lure him in. Hey, bud. You want to come inside? I'm sure it's all cold and wet. Okay, you come over here. I don't want to put you in a pen or anything, but maybe I'll put you like on a leash or something. <laughs> we'll link him up to another brick stairs or something. No, no, don't go down there. You're going to go outside again and be cold. Come up here. Yeah, there you go. Come this way. I'm just going to put your fence post here. And I'll grab a lead. And we'll chuck the lead on you. Gosh, I have so many from killing those llamas. Come here. And just go under there. There you go. Now you can stay inside. Look at you. You're all fancy now. 
Hell yeah. All right. Yep. Stay alive. Stay in here and stay alive, buddy. He pooped an egg. Okay, so we have renewable obsidian, which is really cool. And we are not going to have enough lava because of these things are not that fast. The mechanical squeezers. Is there another way to make lava? Let's see if we can do it with pneumatic craft. Because that could be pretty cool, I think. We can make a magma crucible. It uses power. Takes quite a while, though. But can we upgrade these? The magma crucible. Can we upgrade this? Oh, we need to make invar. How do we make invar? Oh, we can make it pretty easily with nickel. Let's get a magma crucible. That sounds like a good idea. This might be our solution. And I think we can also upgrade this machine. I hope we can. Now we have a use for all that tin that we have. If we start messing with therm the thermal series. So let's make a magma crucible. Let's chuck this down right here. We can put augment augments on it. Okay. So magma crucible. What are your recipes? So, oh, we can get a ton of stuff from this. Okay, so how long do you take? So we can get lava from cobble. We can get lava from netherrack, which looks like it's much faster. Oh, we'll leave these two down. I guess we'll just leave those two here for now. But we definitely want to do this. And we're going to want to put netherrack onto here. I hope this thing moves faster. So I'll tell this to take in from the top. And now we need to make an exporter or importer. This might have been my solution the whole time. I went down this alley of integrated dynamics and man, it was not a good, it was not a good one. That machine is kind of busted. What's really nice about this one is that we can add upgrades to this machine. So thermal series, let's look for these augments. So there's the RF coil stuff, which increases the capacity of the RF. I think it's one of these, the power amplifier, base power, increases processing speed. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. This is already producing lava. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to have to set up auto crafting for this. It's going to bother me if I don't at some point. <laughs> Let's make this flux linkage and see. Oh, I got a quest update. Okay. And let's put this in here. Hopefully that means it runs faster. The importer back here needs to take in fluids. Base power plus 100% process energy one times 1.1. This is only using 160 RF per tick. Oh, the efficiency did go down, so it, it apparently is running faster. Okay, so I'll put out the back. There we go. All right, sweet. This is working, and I think it's cheaper than these ones. So let's get rid of these nasty things, because all they were doing was pissing me off. So let's do that, and let's make some more magma crucibles. Need more glass. Okay, I need to make another interface here. Put the crafting upgrade here. And we will grab glass. So we can always have glass stored and it won't use everything. So that'll be ideal. Let's place that there. Extract only. And now we need to go here. Extract only. Okay, so hopefully this will just keep glass instead of getting rid of it i sure hope it does that'd be really cool i think oh no it's still taking it out which is very unfortunate i was hoping that it would keep it there and not touch it but these prediction matrixes are really eating up our stuff hmm maybe i just need to turn this off for now just change that to fluids so it'll stop outputting them so we can hopefully get some glass stored up. Because I'd really like to get more lava pumping so we can have more obsidian coming in. What is that there? I don't know what that is, but let's uh, grab the obsidian instead. Obsidian 459. And it should all go into there once it's done. Yep, there we go. It's going into there. Sweet. Okie dokie. So we set that up. That's good. Now we have auto obsidian. And the reason we needed auto obsidian is all because I wanted to set up mechanism auto crafting. Isn't that something? Let's go ahead and set up these uh, magma crucibles again. The glass is getting stored. That's really nice. So let's set up these magma crucibles. 
We'll do this. Input outputs. Input outputs. There we go. And these will start working. Okay, we need to make some more of these amplifiers here. There we go. There we go. These things should start pumping out lava now. I'll be really happy with that. These are using 240 RF per tick, so they're not even using much. Flinks or flinks. Flinks luckage? Is that what I was going to say? Uh, thermal flux. Is there a higher level upgrade for the flux? Soul infused flux linkage. You get soul infused. Soul sand, appetite, invar. Okay, so these are quite... Uh, Quite interesting, huh? <laughs> we should be getting more and more lava. We probably will still continuously run out just because we have the obsidian being put in over there. Or we have it working automatically as soon as lava is getting output. But that's totally fine. We have renewable lava and we have renewable obsidian. So I am okay with this process. It does what it needs to be dozen, which I'm happy about. And we set up auto crafting with this pressurized or the pressure chamber here. Okay, all right, that was a lot of stuff and a lot of detours just to get renewable obsidian, but we also did set up pneumatic craft auto crafting over there, the base level stuff over there. So I think this is a good stopping point, and then next time we can get into some more auto crafting with mechanism. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I hope you all take care, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.